If, if you're really good looking, there's a chance maybe some, but there's a lot of good looking people. You go in there and you do something that's interesting or different than everybody else. Now, all of a sudden, they're like, who? who? I went to a commercial audition and I, I wasn't right for the commercial. It was all some computer or something. And I did that five minutes of fury thing I talked about. It was so stupid. I like look back and think how embarrassing it was to do that thing. But they're like, I go and I had to sing or something like that and improv the commercial, which is a whole nother thing it could get into. But they, I go in and I'm like, I am not feeling it. I got to go. I leave and I get a call back for the commercial. And I'm like, wait, I, they're, the, the agents are like, they loved you. I'm like, I didn't, I didn't do the commercial audition. I said, I don't feel it. I, I, I'll suck at this. And I left. They're like, they want to see you tomorrow. I'm like, I'm not going in because I'm not right for it. They're just saying that because they feel like they want to be in power and they want to tell me, no, we don't want you. That's what they want. They want to tell you, no, we don't want you. They don't want you to walk away on your own power. You know what somebody does? Like it's a breakup. Like it was a a, a a relationship with a breakup really quick where they're like, wait a second, wait, wait, you can't, I'm dumping you. You're not dumping me. But I remember that, that was another thing I've learned on some of these early co- uh, commercial auditions. They go in and you, uh, you, you improvise and then you're the commercial without you. Like they get people to come in and just play around with the product a little bit. And you do that and all of a sudden he's like, wait a second, that's my using it as a cigar bit. It, it's, that has nothing to do, where did that come from? And you go, I don't want to write these com- and, I, and I, that's part of my problem in LA too because people there's way better improvisers than me and they all know it's going to happen but they some they eventually get some of the stuff but again that's playing off a lot of the desperateness in that world I just I couldn't auditions to me and maybe you just have a better self worth than I do or something, but you go in and you just, you're sitting on a bench and you're sitting next to in a hallway and you're just like wow, I'm really groveling to try and get this along with three other people who were on sitcoms 15 years ago. First of all, look how they see me. I, I look like Sloth from the Goonies. You know, these other three guys that are here, I, I, I look like that to them? It's like when I remember Harlan Williams, Dane Cook, and like two other guys were always at the same auditions. When I was pretty hot, when I first came to L.A., I would get uh, movie scripts sent to me that Jack Black and two other fat guys turned down. It was like... Maybe Caliendo will look at this, and they didn't want me anyways. But they're just going down the script, and they found out I didn't have the pull to have a movie made in the in the first place. But it was like, wow, that's that's who they think I am. I mean, we ever go to an audition, you look around and go, I look exactly like three of these other guys. What am I going to do that's going to be different? And if I don't have something, I guess I'm just like these three other guys. And then they hire the guy who's tall and better looking. I mean. I went in for Daredevil. I remember going in for Dare, the original Daredevil that was Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck and, and, girl, yeah. and, uh, and yeah. Another Bean as well. Right. And what was, uh, he's in, um, he directs now. And he was in uh, Rudy for a small bit. And he was in Elf. Uh, he's um, happy in the, um, um, in Iron Man. Uh, you'll know exactly who it is. Oh, Swingers. Favreau. Yeah, Favreau. John Favreau. Favreau yeah. John Favreau. And John Favreau got the part. I was never going to get the part. John Favreau's gotten the part. And like you go in for these auditions and you're just like, ah. But every once in a while somebody gets one of the agents. You ever have an agent do this? Oh, they can't wait to see you. They're really, they really. Oh, when you go down there. And they don't even know who you are. Who the fuck are you are. <laughs> it's the worst. It's the worst thing in the I world. I always loved auditioning, Frank. I, I, I wasn't Why? making it because I wasn't making it as a comic. I, the only person who liked me was Mitzi Shaw. Okay. And Montreal wouldn't take me. They didn't like what I did with my hand. It was just a nightmare. So I grew up. I'm, I'm an immigrant. I grew up on fucking movies. Charles Bronson, Clint, you know, The Lord, you know, right. fucking Dirty Harry. You know, I grew up on that shit, Steve McQueen. So movies were always very intriguing to me. So when I came to town, I wasn't ready, but I signed with a power television manager. Mm. If there was a project, he'd get you in it. He grew up in Hollywood. He grew up in Beverly Hills. He knew everybody. So I went in for Men in Black. I'd go in for all that shit. That was one of the many. And I never booked anything. And then I figured out I know what I'm good at. Mm -hmm. Like I would start uh, getting my mind prepared. But the main audition I never liked that I still turn down today is the we don't know what they're looking for audition. Then go fuck your mother. Unless it's <laughs> unless I can walk to it that we don't know what we're looking for audition, you know. Unless we got that audition, I, I could walk to it. I'll go if I could walk to it. 
But if that's if I got to drive to Santa Monica, that we don't know what we're looking for audition. Right. Coming and jazz us, coming with three original characters right. and yourself. No, no, you're looking for a writer, bitch. All right. Yeah. That's what you're looking that's for. That's that. How many auditions that I go in and improvise, and the next day I went to shoot, and my line was in there. That's what I'm talking about with the commercial. Yeah, my absolutely. lines were in there, and I go, yeah. "What the fuck is this?" And you don't say nothing because you're dumb. You don't want to rock the boat. Hey, give me a writing credit, something. Yeah. An associate to the associate to the associate to the associate. Everybody has those stories. But I enjoyed auditioning because after a while I would go in there. I started getting popular with auditions, and I'm not scared to say this, because of The Sopranos. And I looked like one of the guys. Right. So everything Italian, I went in for. Yeah. I went in for, and that taught me how to audition, how to... Really, by 2002, I was a monster. I knew exactly what I was doing in the room. I went into how I, how I did your mother. How I met your mother. How I met your mother. And I walked and I had no underwear on, just jeans. But there was a little rip <laughs> in my jeans. And it caught the table and my cock came out. The whole thing. <laughs> there was three women in the producer's session. And I looked them all at the face and they looked at me and I go, did you see the Cuban egg roll? <laughs> and they bought, you know, when you say that line, you got two things. Either get out of our office. <laughs> or, you know, you just killed us. I had to sit. I didn't think you could beat the espresso a, story, but I you had, did. I had a pant with a flap over my dick and my hand like I was giving signals for a fastball to the fucking. <laughs> and I walked out. I'm down the block at Fox. <laughs> and my agent calls me. goes, they want you to come back and read. I was in there for 25 minutes just laughing, talking about the Cuban egg roll, <laughs> um, uncircumcised, the whole fucking thing. You know, and I got the roll. And if you watch how I met your mother, you go, you didn't belong in there. <laughs> They weren't looking for me. I just got them with that. All right. And I didn't mean to get them, you know. Oh, you didn't plan the Cuban egg? No, oh, no, oh, no. It, just, it just ripped, you know. <laughs> Many auditions I went into. Do you go to a lot of auditions with no underwear? Is that uh, a thing? No, then one time I went in. <laughs> no, I look, at, audition, look at the smile. I had to go to an audition about a neighbor for this ABC pilot. This was like an American family. This had to be 2002. And I walk in the room <sighs> and every fucking big Italian actor is in there. And it, it was a scene where a guy had a thong, the typical Italian, uh, you know, man, moves into like up, upgrades. This was his living condition. And now he's in his yard, water in the yard, looking at the neighbors, and he's grilling hot dogs with, you know, grill on a little Puerto Rican grill. You know, the, mm. the hibachi one you get, the little, little one. And he's like living in Beverly Hills in his mind. And one of the neighbors comes by and he goes, Look at me. You know, I'm living great. So I'm reading this, I'm looking at all these Hollywood names in there, these Italian guys, and I go, I gotta figure something out. We're going in like fucking Marines, you understand me? Welcome to church, motherfucker.